So guys, we almost got scammed. What a wonderful Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we have my sister Camilla with me. And today we're gonna spill, spill some tea. tea. Okay, so something really inconvenient happened today. And we're posting this video not to get views or anything, but to help out other people. Because we saw this video and that helped us like, keep us from making a horrible decision. We could have lost a lot of money. We could could have got scammed. We almost got scammed. Okay, and the person whose video we watched is Slim Girl, and I'll put her like stuff in the description so you can watch hers. She actually like went to this audition, and we didn't do it. Like obviously it's Corona right now. We did it through Zoom. And yeah, okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. So this is what happened. Okay. It was just some ordinary day, and I was just scrolling through Facebook, and I saw some like. A little promotion thing and then they had like disney channel like big like in big letters like the whole like the logo of disney channel and it was like audition now and stuff like that for like a disney channel show and then they put like guests from casey in the cover is gonna be here so i showed it to my sister and then i was just joking because like she was like oh i want to do it i want to do it so i was like okay bet i'll sign you up so I actually signed her up, like you put in like your email and like her name and stuff like that. And then they sent me a, a email and it was like, oh look, you have to memorize this lines and stuff. And then they give you like the Zoom ID to be in the Zoom call and stuff. And then like two days passed and it was the day of the audition. So we went on Zoom. Then we explained to y'all the audition process. Okay. So we were on the Zoom call and there was like a lot of other people and we had to keep mute ourselves. And like, it was pretty much the lady, her name was Gloria. She was like explaining everything. She was like, oh, you could be this, you could be that. You go here, you go here, you get famous. And they were saying like, they were, she was explaining like all their like- um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Really mom? She was explaining all her all their like miracle stories like all the people that got famous from there and it was they started talking about it with some people from riverdale from a bunch of disney channel shows like one of them was olivia hulk and they said that aaron Grande performed one day for the ipop the other man the other producer oh yeah it was like her um, associate they, uh -huh. yeah he had a like a six-year-old kid and he was basically in a target commercial and that target commercial earned lots of money and then uh, the lady said that uh, he can afford to go to Yale, Harvard. He could buy himself a big house, a car, and everything. Yeah, she said that from that like one Target commercial that he made like a hundred thousand dollars, and then from there he started getting like seven. He did seventeen other commercials that paid him like good, and he like pretty much saying like, oh look. We got him to that place now, like he has his whole life planned out and stuff. And that we were like, wow, like that's pretty, like that's like good, like wow, she can make that come true. Like everybody audition, you saw her, like she'd like call your name and you'd unmute yourself and you'd audition in front of her and she'd like feel like, oh, what are your grades? And she asked about your parent and your mom would be like, oh, are you, you like supported of this and stuff? And then she'd be like, okay, well, you, we have from when you get off of this call till midnight to text you to like see if you made it and then so camel went what's your name camilla mota and how old are you camilla mota eight about to be nine and who's with you today your mom or dad my mom hi hi, hi what's your name <laughs> okay so camilla nice loud and clear let me hear you do your lines i thought i knew my folks so they took me to disney world did someone forget the time that their parents, dad's walking around in Mickey ears, mom's running around like a techno wizard. Then they want to race me down the snowy mountain. Can it get any more embarrassing? Don't tell them I said that. I'm just glad they had as much fun as I did at Disney World. Good job. What grade are you in? Third, about to be in fourth. And you have good grades in school? A, B's. Wonderful. 
wonderful. All right, so mom, if we have an interest, you will be contacted sometime today. Make sure to keep your phone on. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Nice job. She did a good job, Kim. She did a good job. High five. She did good. I didn't see it in her. And then we hang up the call. Later, I was going to go to a party. So I was getting ready and I got the text message. I'm putting it in here. Talking about she made it into casting call and stuff. And like, she, we had five questions to answer. So then, yeah, like I texted her back. And I was like, yeah, we're interested. And then she sent me like the Zoom meeting ID for the next day, which is today. And then today we went on it. And then she was like, hi, like, hey again and stuff. And then she was like, okay, so I'm going to like put you in this break room. And we were break room number three. So there was two people before us. And she was like, they're going to audition first. And she was like, so you can practice. And I was like, practice what? And she was like the monologue. And I was like, I just messed up. I didn't. Yeah, we, I didn't know she had to practice a monologue. So she literally practiced like this Charlie Brown scene. It was supposed to be a minute long. And she literally memorized like half of it in like 15 minutes, which is good. <laughs> so then we were in the waiting room. And, you know, she, we were just like, she started crying. She was like, oh, my God, Emily, like, you're freaking stupid. You're an idiot. And she's telling me that stuff. She's so mean to me. Yeah, she was, like, so mad. And she was, like, screaming. And she was like, why didn't you read it? And stuff. But, like, I feel like if it was legit, they should have, like, gave you their own monologue to read. Not pick your own. So then she comes on and we're like, oh, shoot. We're like, okay, we'll just go with the flow. Okay, we could just make up the rest. And then... She was like, um... Do you have your parent with you? If not, I'm not going to be able to audition you and you have to leave. And she was like, like, what program do we want to be in? We were like the acting one. And then she was like, okay. And then she started talking to my mom. And my mom isn't fluent in English. So I was like, oh, I translate for her. And she was like, I'm sorry, you're a minor. Um, I can't speak to you and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, well, my mom can understand it. Or so my mom like, started talking to her herself. And then she was like, okay, before we start, this is like the second audition and she she told us she said okay i just want y'all to let y'all know that from yesterday's auditions there was over thirteen thousand kids and we only chose 12 and that's y'all 12 right now and only five of y'all are going to be moving on so then we we're like okay wow it's like pretty crazy and then she was like okay but before we start i need to ask y'all do y'all have your credit card like availability to pay um the amount that's required in the next 10 minutes. And we're like, 10 minutes? And then uh, we were like, how much? And she was like, $2,000. What was 1895 And we were like, and then my mom just burst out. She said, she said, esta loca esa mujer. She's like, no, 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 no. And then she was like, okay, so I see mom's not aware of it. And then she was like, okay, so, um, if y'all can have a talk with your mom and if you like are still interested in an hour you can come back on the zoom call and we can go ahead so we're like okay whatever thank you so then we were like that's kind of fishy like why would we have to pay before auditioning like before making it in and like this audition is just to be like in their program and from there they're supposed to like find you agencies and get you actual auditions for like disney shows and like commercials and stuff there's like different programs the career acting is $1,895 for the lecture we were gonna do, which is five weeks, two hours each week online, and then um, Asian showcase and stuff. And then after that, if you're like good, you can make it into iPop career, which is $6,000. That's in like six competitions for acting. And then you could do the iPod Career 2, which is $10,000. $10, and it is like in 10 competitions, opportunity for agency callbacks with modeling, talent agents, admissions, three months on marketing platform. And you know, it sounds like, wow, that's pretty cool and stuff. $10,000 and the hotel isn't even included or the food. So it was fishy. So we start, I started doing the research. My cousin started to too. And then he was like, it's a scam. And I was like, yeah. And that's when I came across that YouTube video. And I was like, bro, this is a scam.
whenever I was watching the, com the YouTube videos, when I was researching it, I was reading the comments and they were all saying that it was a scam. Like that they paid $10,000 to go to Los Angeles. Like those, the iPop career options take you to Los Angeles for like a week or like five days and stuff. And then they said that once they got to Los Angeles, they put them in a boo-boo hotel and they had to pay for their own flight. The flight isn't included. And then in the hotel, like once you get there, they stop answering the phone. Like they don't answer the phone. And like, you're just stuck there. Like you have to figure things out yourself. Like they pretty much just scam you out of your money. Just take you to Los Angeles. And you can't take them to court because they're pretty much doing what you said. They said they're gonna do. They take you to Los Angeles. But like for not getting auditions, they could just say that you suck and like they didn't call them. Like you have no proof or like anything to go against them with. So pretty much what we learned is that iPop is a scam. So if you see their advertisements, don't even waste your time. We were on that call for like three hours waiting for Camel to audition. We wasted a lot of time. I could have been watching Immigration Nation. I don't know, wasted our time. So like, if you want to be an actress, model, whatever, you better wait till Corona's over so you can go to Los Angeles and you can audition in person there. And don't audition through industries because they're just gonna make you pay money and you could just do like the same thing for free like and don't trust yeah iPod. and plus they like they post they post like things on their advertisement like their website like oh disney channel stars disney channel auditions but disney channel is not affiliated with it's them. not a part of disney yeah no it says iPod. On the Disney Channel website, it says Disney Channel is not affiliated with any acting school or acting workshop. There is never a fee to audition or attend a Disney Channel official talent search. So, pretty much what I'm hearing is that iPop is not affiliated with them. Auditioning for Disney Channel is free, so you shouldn't have to be paying money to get into their program that's supposed to get you a Disney Channel audition when you can just do that yourself for free. Don't trust everything that you see and do your research and don't get scammed. All right, Bella. We're not making this video to throw shade at iPop or Gloria or anyone else. We're just making this to help other people just like we got helped. We almost got scammed and we're grateful that we did it. So we want other people to like know and be educated on this company and not go through like what we almost had to go through anyways we hope y'all got spread educated awareness. yeah spread awareness of this issue if you know somebody that wants to audition like tell them not to like spare them their time and money and don't waste your time on that it's yeah it's a not worth time. it it's really not worth it like if you really want to follow your dreams and get an agent management like not just some company that just wants to scam you okay well we hope y'all enjoyed bye